Hello everybody, welcome to Coding 101. My name is Skutla and in today's uh, tutorial I'm going to teach you how to send an email, like a literal live email, uh, using Node.js or JavaScript, so a JavaScript framework known as Node.js. So there's this package that you see on your screen over there and it's called Node.mailer. It's called Node.mailer and as you can see it's, uh, it sends email from your Node.js. So it's practically a Node.js module that allows you to send emails from your server with ease. So whether you want to communicate with your users or you just want to notify them about something, uh, if something has gone wrong, one of the options to do so is to do so using email. And we can do that using Node.js. So to get started with using Node.mail, of course, you need to have Node installed in your computer. So make sure you have Node installed in your computer and that you also have NPM installed in your computer. Create a directory for your project and call it whatever name you want to call it. And then after that, what I want you to do is to say npm init on your command line, like I've done so. This is going to initialize our npm project with a package.json. The next thing that we need to do is we need to install a couple of these packages. We're going to install npm express.js, uh, which, which is the module that we're going to use to create our server. And then install node mail, which is the package that we're also going to use to send in email. All right, so I'm just going to pause the video and wait for those items to load. All right, so now that the packages, those two packages have successfully loaded, so these are the only two packages that I think we're going to need for this project here yeah, for sure. We're going to need only these two packages for our project. The first thing that we need to do is to create a server. Uh, now, before we do that, I do want to remind you to subscribe to the channel. Please make sure that you press the subscribe button. Make sure you like this video, and if you have any questions, put them on the comment section. All right, so let's continue with our video. Um, let me go to our project right here and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a file called app.js and in that file I'm going to create our server. If uh, you don't have experience about creating a server, I do have a tutorial on how to create your very own server and I explain some of these things in much more detail. So because of that, I'm just going to copy in uh, the code I had already done. So this is my node mailer project and it's going to be listening to port 3000, but I just want to change this because normally I use port 3000 for my React project. So I'm going to use port 5000 for this one. So each time we run our server, we're going to get this little message inside of our console. And what we're going to do is just that. We're going to start our server by just saying node app.js. Let me sure we should receive that. First, I just want to clear the console so that everything is a little bit much more visible. And I'm going to use this package called Nodemon. And what Nodemon simply does is that every single time we edit our our project. Every single time we update our project, the server is going to run afresh. So that is why we need node mod in this case, so that we don't have to continually come to the time to the console and run the server again and again after we've made a change. All right. So, and then after we're done doing this, uh, we have to now initialize node mod. And we have to import it at the very top over here. And we have to require it, sorry to say node mailer is equals to require node mailer like that. In fact, you know what I'm actually going to do is that I'm actually going to create this on a separate folder or should I? Okay, no, maybe let, let me not do that. Let me just do it over here in one file so that you can see how each element of this file interacts with one another. So I'm going to create a function called send email in it, I'm going to wrap whatever we want to do in a promise. So I'm going to say promise, of course, the two parameters, the two uh, parameters in this backend function. Reject callback function, sorry. And just like that. And in order to initialize our node demand, we have to create a couple of variables. Oh, actually, we have to create one variable. The first thing that we need is what they call a transporter. I'm guessing it transports the message. So we're going to just say node mailer.create transport. And then we're going to just uh, put in some configurations in there. So the first configuration that we're going to need is where our email is going to be coming from. Because remember, in order to send an email, you yourself need to have an email. So you're going to configure your email information to NodeMond to enable NodeMond to use your email to send emails. So in this case, we're going to use Gmail accounts only. So you need to have a Gmail account actually in order to use this node, this version of Node Mailer. You can create um, a Yahoo account and connect it to Node Mailer, but for this tutorial, we're going to be using Gmail accounts. So we're going to authorize Node Mailer to use our Gmail account to send automatic emails. So first thing I'm going to 
gonna do is we're gonna say service and we're gonna outrightly say Gmail. And inside of here, we have a variable or a field called auth. And auth is going to contain my username and then it's also gonna contain my password. I'm gonna show you in a minute because like uh, these authentication details are not what you think. They're not necessarily talking about your username and password for your email. There's a certain way that you have to create a password in Gmail. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, now that we're done with our transporter, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna carry on with the business of actually sending the email. And in, send it, and using, and in using our transporter to send an email, the couple of configurations that it requires, and the first thing that it requires is it needs to know where the email is coming from. So in our case, we are going to put in our email, and then after that, and we're gonna put in the email that it's sending to. We're gonna put in our subject over here. And we're gonna just say testing coding 101 email. And then after this, we're gonna put an option called text. So this is like the body of your email. And then we're gonna just say just checking if this email will be sent. Right. And those are all the configurations that are needed by our transporter. So we're going to just take our transporter and we're going to just say send mail. And then we're going to take in our mail options. I should say options or configs. So that it's not a little bit confusing for you. Mail configs. And after that, there's a callback function that is returned by this transporter. Just say function, error, and information. There we go. I'm going to make sure that we deal with all those things appropriately. So we're going to say if an error occurs in sending our email, what you need to do is just return reject. And what you're going to do is that you're going to say message, and you're going to just say an error has occurred. First of all, I would like to know what that error is, so I'm just going to console log that error so that we are able to see it. But if an error has not occurred, so what we need to do is to return resolve, and then we're going to say the message is going to be email sent successfully. All right, and I think that'll be just about it for our email sending. So what we're gonna do is that we're going to now take this function and we're gonna wrap it around a route, an express route, uh, a simple express route, which is going to be a get route because we don't wanna make anything complicated. So I'm just gonna give it a route over here. And remember the callback function for our routes. And in here, because this is a, this function over here returns a promise we simply need to, oh, no, no, you know what? We don't need to do anything. We just um, need to come over here and say, send email. And then after that, we implement then. Then of course, there's a response that is sent. Make that arrow function. We're just gonna say rest, send response dot message. Error occurs, we're going to say catch, and through that error, we're going to say press dot status, which is our status is going to be 500, which represents an internal error that has occurred. Inside of that error, we're going to just say message error. Sorry, error dot message. Okay. So now what we expect to happen is that every single time we run this send email function that you see over here, uh, so we're gonna run it using this route, actually, this is just a simple route. Uh, so when we run it, we expect that the, our email is going to be sent accordingly. Now let me teach you where to get the username. So the username is going to be your simple email. So it's gonna be like email at gmail.com. I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna show you my email just as yet, because I've actually configured this one on a different email than I than the email that I normally uh, uh, use with my 
YouTube and give people access to contact me if they need tutorials in coding. And over here, and now our biggest problem or our biggest obstacle would be this part right here to get the password. So in order to get um, the password that we're going to configure inside of our node mailer, we simply just need to click over to, we just simply need to click over here on your profile and just click manage your account. And then after you've clicked manage your account, you're gonna go to security, and then you're gonna come down to signing into Google. And what it's going to require you to do is to implement the two-step verification. And then after you've implemented two-step verification, and it's been turned on, you're going to create an app password. And the password that you're going to use here, app password, is the one that you're going to be using in your node, in your node mod, or in your node project. And the other thing that, um, um, you know what? Actually, I don't think we're going to need that because ever since I. I used this, I've not had that problem whereby Google was asking us if we, we want a third party to actually send our emails, to use our email account to send emails. So I have not experienced that problem as yet. So I think maybe Google has actually fixed that. But there's a possibility that they might ask you to authorize a third party application to use your email to send emails. And if you get that email, just follow the instructions on the email and you'll be able to enable that third party access. So, um, uh, yeah, and then after you've gotten your password, you're just going to put it in here and you're going to just simply run your application. So I'm going to put in my password and I'm going to go directly to our, to my application to see if this will work accordingly. So I've just put in my email and I've put in my password as well over here. So and then my password over here. So I've declared some variables at the very bottom. And so these this is just simply referencing those variables. And don't forget to also, when it comes to your recipient, when it comes to your recipient, don't forget to put your recipient and over here to your, your email as well. So I think after this, this should be fine. What we need to do now is just simply um, run that, uh, that route. And so we're just going to say local 5000. And we are going to just simply run that. You know, I have to put that. And so we're going to wait for it. And fingers crossed that it's going to, oh, there you go. Email sent successfully. Now what we need to do is we need to check our email. I'm gonna come over here to my email. And I'm expecting to see that email at the very top of my email chain. Or if you can't see it, uh, just go to your spam folder. There we go. It actually sent two emails. Uh, so this one is the one that I did previously. So there you go. Uh, so yeah, this is exactly how to actually send an email using Node.js. So on my next video, I'm gonna teach you how to actually send an SMS. And this time around, we're gonna be using a package uh, called uh, Twilio. So that's going to be very interesting. So please watch out for that video. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Please make sure that you have subscribed to this video. And if you've enjoyed this tutorials, I have actually enjoyed it. Um, if you've enjoyed it as much as I have, uh, make sure that you subscribe and like. And if you have any questions and if you have any video suggestions for me, leave them in the comment section. As always, I will see you next time on Coding 101.